guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a room build. I guess it's a speed build, but it's of a room. <laughs> it's a pretty decent-sized family room that we're working on here, and it's really brightly colored, and you might recognize it if you were in one of my live streams on uh, June 2nd. Yeah, that was a Friday. Uh, we live streamed building various rooms uh, using the new Parenthood pack. I really wanted to play around and create some cool rooms. And this is one of the rooms that we ended up creating. You can probably see a couple of the other ones in the background. Uh, but it was so fun and really bright and colorful. We ended up going with a yellow and gray, I think, scheme. And uh, I, I think it's a really family-friendly, kid-oriented family room for your Sims to enjoy. This build is available to download on the gallery right now, or at least it should be. If it's not, please yell at me in the comments down below. I mean, nicely yell at me, but like yell at me. Because um, <laughs> I'm really bad and like always forget to upload stuff. But it should be available on the gallery right now if you search Griffy or the hashtag Miss Griffy, which is my YouTube name, but my origin ID is Griffy. So just get rid of the M and the S in the front and you should be all set uh, to download that. Anyway, back to what we're actually working on. Uh, this is just a family room. It has like everything you need. It's got TV, couches, toys, a computer. There is a loud noise outside my window. <laughs> uh, and like a nice fireplace. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm forgetting. There's game table, that new Lego uh, building block set that came with Parenthood. And we're using a lot from the Parenthood pack because that's really what I wanted to be doing. Um, but not everything in here is from that. Like the TV stand we're using is from bowling night stuff. We end up using some bookcases we should be grabbing here shortly that are from, uh, I believe, the kids stuff pack. And uh, But I, I tried to use a lot of the Parenthood pack because, I mean, I wanted to create a really cute family room. And the whole point of this whole live stream that I did was to do some building and playing around with the new parenthood stuff because oh my gosh that game pack is amazing not only like all of the new gameplay we got but the objects oh they are so good <laughs> i'm so happy with it uh but these are the bookshelves that we end up adding in uh, there's only one right now but we end up adding another one on the other side of the tv and connecting them in the middle with some shelving units to kind of make a tv stand uh for uh, our living room and put a bunch of stuff on those shelves and I thought it came out pretty nice. I really like making TV stands in The Sims. It just looks really nice and I feel like growing up most, I don't, I don't think my, my family didn't, but like all of my extended family did, like my aunts and my uncles and my grandma and like everyone had like big elaborate TV stands that had like lots of doors and things you can put the stuff in. Um, we didn't cause um, we're like the only one in the family that had like a massive TV. Like we had a really big TV in it. Um, one of the, It was like a boxy TV, but it had like a built-in stand of its own. It was just enormous. <laughs> like it was taller than me. If I laid down on the floor, it was longer than me. And so we had one of those. So we didn't have a entertainment system cause there's nothing big enough to put that on. It just kind of sits on the floor on its own. Uh, but all of my family members had these and they had pretty good sized TVs, but, um, they were stuff that you could actually put in a, like, entertainment system like this. Uh, so that's kind of where that inspiration came from, uh, for doing, uh, entertainment systems like that. Also because, like, these bookshelves are just so family friendly with all the cool colorful stuff and the organizers and the sticky notes on the boxes. I just really like it. And I thought, uh, it really fit in nicely with how colorful we were making this room. I also made sure to include some backpacks for the kiddos, leaving their stuff around the living room, uh, when they're not working on their schoolwork. And we got rid of that staircase area on the side. I was thinking, oh, maybe that, but I was like, that's thinking too far ahead. Uh, if this gets added onto a house, you can add it wherever you want. So it doesn't need to be next to a staircase. Uh, so we got rid of that and just filled in the rest of the room accordingly. Uh, we should be adding the new bulletin board in the corner soon, I think, uh, which I really like. And this new fireplace, which is really pretty. Uh, I'm really enjoying a lot of the new objects. And I love the little... Um, arts and craft box that we just put on that table but here is the bulletin board which is super cute functionality wise and super cute like just in general uh, I think it looks really nice it fits the aesthetic of like a family environment really well but also like I love that you can uh 
the, uh, the main thing is that you can set curfews on it but I think it's really really cool that you can also like leave notes and leave drawings I just think it's cool how it's always changing like you don't even have to tell your sims to do that just like you'll be at it and then you look away from it and then 10 minutes later you notice there's a bunch of new notes and new drawings and I just think it's a cool ever-changing object in your game I think that adds a little bit of realism to the game as well so I really really love that object and also that it comes in both a uh, like a chalkboard and in a uh, white erase board. I think that's awesome and uh, really realistic. I remember like growing up all the classrooms had uh, chalkboards and then they started slowly transitioning to whiteboards and I always really enjoyed writing on the board <laughs> whether it was with chalk or with um, dry erase boards and I ended up liking dry erase a lot better for some reason but I, it was just so much fun when you got to write on the board for some reason. I don't know if anyone relates to that or if that's a thing still. And sorry for that close up of the duck. I just thought he was cute. <laughs> but um, I just, I like that it comes in all those. And then here is the Lego building table that I was talking about adding. I think that's really fun. I played with a lot of Legos growing up. I never had any of the new ones though because I had an older cousin who was like 10 years older than me so I had his Legos growing up but they were left over at my grandma's house and so when I was at my grandma's house I would play with those so I'm definitely a 90s baby or a 90s kid as well but I was playing with 80s Legos all the time so I never had any of the new sets I had like pretty like uh, standard uh boring Legos but like I thought they were <laughs> I guess looking back at them I still have them they're really cool um looking back and compared to like what they have now but I guess back then I was like oh, I want more things like I can only make so many things with the basics that I have but I really enjoyed that and I I love Lego so much um I like it takes everything in me not to go into the Lego store when I see one because um <laughs> I don't want to spend my whole day playing Legos and again I spend my whole day like building houses in the sims and so like I guess I'd be doing the same thing but with blocks in real life so Close enough, right? <laughs> I'll just put Legos in my Sims builds and that'll be that'll be good. But one of these days I might buy some Legos. I think that would be a really fun uh, thing to do one night. Uh, and I'll probably post pictures on Instagram or Twitter if I do that. If you guys aren't following me on uh, any of the social medias, I post on Twitter constantly. Um, and that's a good place to find out when the next live stream is going to be, when videos are coming out. Uh, just random things about my life because I really enjoy that. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the video here. You can uh, go ahead and download this from the Sims 4 Gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ah, bye.